Oh my god, sorry. Oh my, I knew it, I knew it. You know I knew it. Obviously, greatest plot twist of all time. Hi, my name is Jenna Ortega, and I'm going to be playing Who Said That Horror Edition with Elle. I'm going to be given a line from a horror film, and I have to decide who said that. But before I get into the game, please be sure to check out my cover for Elle out now. All right, first one up, here's Johnny. I've got A, Jack Nicholson, B, Vera Farmiga, C, Daniel Kaluuya. I think that this is an obvious one, Jack Nicholson, A. Here's Johnny. The first horror film that I ever saw was Child's Play. I didn't stick around too much. I was maybe five years old and I was peeking around the corner and I was watching it when I shouldn't have and I was traumatized. I had the worst nightmares as a, as a kid. I felt like every night I went to bed I was having a nightmare and I think I blame that movie. Dude, no, I'm a star, please, I'm a star. A, Sissy Spacek. B, Mia Goth. C, Anya Taylor-Joy. B, Mia Goth. If you haven't seen Pearl, you should get on that. It's a good line. It's a really good line. That one and the I'm married line are probably my favorite ones. Three, I see dead people. A, Jodie Foster, I love her. B, Haley Joe Osment. C, Tony Todd. A, Jodie Foster, that's in Silence of the Lambs. Uh... Oh, I'm, I'm not J. Oh my God, sorry. Oh my, I knew it, I knew it. You know I knew it. Obviously, greatest plot twist of all time. I think the first time I saw The Sixth Sense, it was the first time my mind was blown. I got caught up with my love for Jodie Foster. <laughs> I see dead people. The correct answer is Haley Joe Osment, The Sixth Sense. It was an accident, I'm sorry. Four, would you like to play game, Tara? A, Roger L. Jackson. B, Tony Collette. C, Patrick Wilson. A the legend Roger L. Jackson is my answer. And it's correct. I actually knew that one because I was there. Would you like to play a game, Tara? What might be interesting for people who don't know about shooting on horror is when you're shooting a really long sequence, like for example, the opening scene in the fifth installment of the Scream franchise, we were shooting that for three, four days and there's different Sets, you have at least five sets of the wardrobe all in different stages of blood. Oh, okay, this piece of clothing only has two stab wounds. This one has four. This one is completely clean. This one is completely dirty. And a lot of the times you shoot the end before you shoot the beginning. So you have to try to guess, uh, how much do you think I'll bleed right here? It's usually better to overshoot it. Shooting that film is one of my most cherished experiences by far. That entire cast and crew is my family. Uh, anytime that I get to work with the directors, Matt and Tyler, it's, it's such a pleasure, such a joy. I think that this, this ghost face next time around is a lot more intense and there's just a lot more deaths, which is good. The fifth question is, happy Halloween, Michael. A, Jamie Lee Curtis. B, Kiki Palmer. C, Shelley Duvall. Obviously, scream queen Jamie, Jamie Lee Curtis. Happy Halloween, Michael. Six, a census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Yahya Abdul Mateen II, Kathy Bates, Anthony Hopkins. Anthony Hopkins, of course, Silence of the Lambs. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans. Again, my passion for this movie is going to be revealed when I tell you that the, after I watched that, I used to claim that I would eat everything with fava beans. Or if someone said that something sounded good, it was always, oh yeah, with some fava beans. I thought it was so cool. I have a friend who likes to talk about how Psycho was the first horror film to show a toilet. And he was like a legend for that. I was a legend for the fava beans. Seven, do you want a balloon too, Georgie? B, Bill Skarsgård, or A. A, Bill Skarsgård. B, Octavia Spencer. C, Tobin Bell. A, Bill Skarsgård, I believe that's it. Right on. Do you want a balloon to a Georgie? Eight, 
Once upon a time, there was a girl, and the girl had a shadow. The two were connected, tethered together. A, Florence Pugh. B, Lupita Nyong'o. C, Mia, uh, Mia Farrow. Um, I haven't seen Us, but I'm gonna guess it's that one. So B, Lupita Nyong'o. The two were connected, tethered together. That is the only Jordan Peele I haven't seen, and I feel awful about it. I know I have to get on it. Nine. <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. A, Sigourney Weaver. B, Virginia Madsen. C, Jason Miller. I'm gonna go with C, Jason Miller. I know it's from The Exorcist. Every time I hear this line, though, I... I've got brain rot. I think of this is the end, and I think of Jay shouting at Jonah Hill. It's a good line. That the power of Christ compels you! It's hard to scare me now, but when I was younger, I remember one of the first ones that made an impression on me. Insidious and The Conjuring were really big for me, especially that one shot of the, the demon. He's like in the corner behind Patrick Wilson like this. I feel like being scared is better than being bored. So, boredom is the root of all evil. 10, silence. A, Chris Rock. B, Emily Blunt. C, Jessica Chastain. Oh, oh, it is gonna be B, Emily Blunt from A Quiet Place. I think I did pretty good. I got all of them. I was nervous and I did better than I anticipated. And now I know I can go home and sleep at night. Thank you so much for watching me play Who Said That with Elle. For more videos like this, subscribe to Elle.